me. My name is Boyd Batten, and we're feeling great. Probably climbed, I don't know, getting close to a thousand feet, maybe 800 feet. We don't know how much, but we're gonna pretty much every steps up. It just goes up, up, up. There's switchbacks. There's straight trails. They were fairly unimaginative on this trail. Oh. There it is. There is East Rosebud Lake. Isn't that a beauty, folks? Look at that. And you can see down below the little road, almost straight down from us here, that went to a campground that went to the trailhead that we entered. So you can see the altitude we've gained. Boy, that lake just looks cool from here. Yeah, you can see all the shallow points really easily, and you can tell from there. I think elevation-wise, getting up to the top, we're getting like close to halfway and maybe even a little bit farther. There's East Rosebud Lake. And uh, you can see, this is, this is how this trail is every, all the way. It's just like every step is up. It just, you hardly ever go down or level or anything. So um, we've been taking a, a strategy of uh, continuously you walk about a hundred yards and you stop for 60 seconds you just stop and well, we don't take that big of a break really maybe 30 or 60 right it's like 20 seconds usually. yeah 20 or 30 but sometimes 60 seconds just to get a, well, when you're stopping, if we're talking and stuff and it's making a huge difference our legs feel fine even though this is really a steep steep hill and um, I don't know it's working for the old guy and for the younger guy who doesn't claim to be a big uh, lower body conditioning guy. Yeah. Here we are, the highest spot on the hike. You can see we're totally above tree line right here and I'm on a moon base area. There's, there's some trees, but this place probably just gets horrendous wind in the winter and it just the trees just can't hack it right here anyway it's have it so this is our our little camp <clears throat> we found a soft soft meadow and uh, here's the whole meadow and uh, up that direction a couple hundred yards is the lake we couldn't get a campsite right by the lake so we're camping down here Do runs and snatches are see watch this it's crazy it gets closer come here come here and see us hi it's kind of skinny mm -hmm. This is our camp right here, and the, this uh, deer just hangs out and eats and just circles us and gets really gets really close. <clears throat> Threaten you. Yeah, she's alert, but I think she also kind of knows we're not doing anything scary. Where do we find ourselves now? We are at Sylvan Lake. We're at Sylvan Lake, and it's the morning after our hike. I kind of ate dinner last night and just got in the bags and slept for a long time because it was a fairly long strenuous hike. 
big cirque, they call it. It's the inside of a volcano. And traps water. And you got this beautiful little lake here called Sylvan Lake. And this one has golden trout. And they're beautiful. And we'll get some pictures of those pretty soon. Right on. I'm trying to get over here and I can't really keep my balance. Yeah, well, now just see if, if you lift up the rod gently, can you just gradually lead, lead him over to where you are? Now you can get down and you can pull the hook out. Don't get him on the rocks though, that kind of beats him up a little bit. For, for just a second, hold him. Hold him in your hand just for a second. Okay, let me see. Look at the colors. It's pretty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really, really golden with a pink. Give me everybody. And, uh, oh, yeah, he's real red. Yeah, the bigger he's definitely they are, old. the more colorful they are. And, and they start to have this red stripe. And their bellies on are the too. belly and on the side. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Look yeah. at the color on that thing. So beautiful. It's probably actually he's probably close to a foot long. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good size little fish. This is at the head of the lake. Where there's this monstrous big chunk of granite that's the edge of the volcano. Here's all the, the other walls of it. Kind of like all right so here we are crow lake went way past it once and then crow lake took another way seven out. miles past Sylvan if you went if you go the way we went yeah, about right. <laughs> I'm just turning on me for a minute. So we made it to Crow Lake, and we walked about three times as far as it needed to be. Because <laughs> we, we took the right turn, and the trail ended up being really crappy, and it would just disappear at times, and we thought, oh, this is a false trail. Went back to the main trail, and just kept walking and walking, and it just climbed up, up, up to Kingdom Come, until we were just sick of climbing it was then somewhere we, then we, yeah, way we the hell out there, there. <laughs> and then we looked back oh way along there a mile and a half as the crow flies and we could see crow lake we were way above it and we way, could just there's our lake yeah we were way over there up on that mountain somewhere over there and we looked back and just we saw this lake rimmed by trees and we're like wow we just kind of went way past it so so anyway we made it to crow lake Brook Trout Lake, Lake. We are video. Hello, there's, fish. There's a brookie out of um, California. Pearl Lake. Pretty it's small. Right now. Well, it's the biggest one. It's the biggest one we got. Head. It's the biggest one we caught so far. Yeah, he's heading out. Caught by fish. For whatever reason, we're not seeing very many big ones, even though Dad remembers catching some big ones here. So we'll see. Keep trying a little bit, but we're having fun. It's Beautiful interesting. It's a lot like, more wood cover, woodland here than yeah. uh, Southern Lake. All the way around. So it's really pretty. This 
So, uh, coming back from Crow Lake, and uh, this is the path we took roughly. It's like down, 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 and then up, up, up. And up there in that basin up there is where Crow Lake is. It's kind of around the corner though. Yeah, and then it's like it's around the corner, and you can see right up here in that cirque is where Sylvan is, and that's where we're headed back to. So Crow and Sylvan are just kind of like, Next I don't know, other, but they're around. Nice yeah, they're around, walk around just around the long. corner, but it's about like an hour and 15 minutes, and it's a lot of up and down and stuff. So, anyway. Stopped along the trail next to this little creek and found, to our amazement, a big patch of blueberries and uh, it's quite delightful for me because I've never found wild blueberries before and they're uh, really good mm -mm. lots of them this this area isn't particularly well populated with really ripe ones but that's what the plants look like, and we each had, oh, several handfuls, so that was cool.